Houston, we don't have a problem. Today we're going to talk about more about vectors, but this case we're going to talk about the meaning of the negative sign. What happens when you have a negative sign in a vector? Because it sort of doesn't make sense, but hopefully it will. Okay. So we sometimes talk about having a negative uh, position. Now if you think about it, I can't travel negative five feet, right? I mean, that's nonsensical, right? I can say, I'm going to go five feet from here. Okay, I'm going to go from here to over here. That's five feet or whatever, right? Uh, but what does it mean when I say I go negative? I can't have a negative distance, which is true, but you can have a negative position. We send back to the coordinate plane. All right, so if something is, you're going to define the origin, I can say that this point right here is at negative five, right? Negative five meters or something like that. Uh, so position can be negative. Um, so the, the meaning of the negative sign, both, by the way, in position, and we'll talk about velocity. because so they have a meaning uh, when we're doing it. So let, let's, let's, uh, let's do this, and let's just say, boom. I'm here at five meters, okay? So that's positive x, so this is x, and this is y. But let's then say my velocity, arrow, right, because it's a vector, is negative, I'll say vx. We're just going to move in the x direction. My vx is negative uh, 20 meters per second. Now, again, you can't travel a negative speed. So if you're driving your car, what does it mean to say when you're going negative 20 miles per hour? It, that doesn't mean anything, right? You can't, that, but in the physics land, vectorally, Negative 20 meters per second gives you the direction. What that means is the person is traveling backwards at negative tw at 20 meters per second in the negative direction, right? So if I was to do like a chart of x and y, so this person starts at five at uh, time uh, zero, actually time, pardon me, uh, five at time zero at time uh, one second, they've traveled 20 meters in one second. So they've gone from five, and we go, they've gone to five meters, they're way over here, right? They've gone, in one second, they have gone to negative 15, right? So they're way over here. So their x position is at negative 15 because they're moving in the negative direction. So when you see a negative sign in velocity or position, that is indicating where there are on the coordinate plane. Obviously, it's important you define where your starting point is. Um, yeah, I mean, that's the key to understanding this is that, and especially with velocity, when you have a negative velocity, it means you're moving in the opposite direction. So don't panic when you get a negative number. But also, sometimes some negative velocities don't mean anything. I mean, well, technically, a negative velocity means something, but a negative speed is nonsensical. I can't travel at negative two meters per second. But if I say I'm traveling at negative two meters per second, I'm moving backwards at two meters per second. So make sure you understand the meaning of the sign. That's the big idea in this video. Houston, we don't have a problem.